So, are you a clothes flipper or are you a real boutique boss? After this video, you will know the answer to my question. So, stay tuned. Welcome back, my beautiful boss slave mates. If you are new here, I am extending a warm welcome to you too. My name is Iganisha. I am your favorite boutique consultant. And as you saw in my intro, we are going to discuss if you are a real boutique boss or if you are a clothes flipper. And there is one thing, well, not one thing, but there are lots of things. But the one thing we're going to talk about today that all real boutique bosses know are their numbers. So we're going to discuss boutique math. If you are not a numbers person or a math person, I'm sorry, but this entire business, a lot of it has to do with math and strategy. And a lot of people don't realize that until they actually get into the business and they see like, hey, this is a whole lot of math involved. So go ahead, grab your pen and paper. It's going to be a lot. I'm going to try to shorten it down as best I can. So let's get started. I'm going to be looking down a lot because it is a lot of math and I'm going to be looking through my notes that I wrote down. Okay, you guys. All right. So the first boutique math term. Oh, and as you all can see, I'm not filming outside. I'm actually at my desk, but I'm in front of a window. So there's going to be a lot of glare on my glasses. So I apologize, but that's just how it is when you wear glasses. Anyway, the first boutique term that you need to know kind of easy. You need to know your expenses. Your expenses are how much it costs for you to run your business each month. That can come down to um, your ink that you use for your printer if you have to buy new ink every month. If you have to buy new labels for your printer every month. You have to rebuy um, poly mailers, uh, gas it takes for you to get to the post office. Whatever it is that you pay for monthly to run your business is an expense. And expenses off the bat have to be known like that. You ask me what my expenses are, I can tell you. So that is the number one thing you need to know in terms of BT math. You need to know how much it costs you to run your business each month. If you do not know how much it costs for you to run your business each month, I highly suggest that after you watch this video, you need to go into Microsoft Excel or you need to get you a notebook dedicated just for your expenses and you need to write down or type in all of your expenses for the month so that way you know how much it is costing you to run your business and there is no way you can figure out your profit which we'll talk about later if you don't know your expenses okay so the next two terms are super easy everyone knows what they are but we're gonna say them anyway because you never know we're gonna talk about wholesale price and retail price wholesale price of course is the price to you from your vendor Retail price is the price from you to your customer. So how much it costs your customer to buy your product. Super simple. Um, the way to reach your retail price, um, you need to know the difference between two different terms. And this is where it's going to kind of get complicated. So in order to reach your retail price from your wholesale price, you need to know your difference between a margin and a markup. These two terms I have seen numerous boutique owners get mixed up and when you get these two terms mixed up or you don't know exactly what a margin and a markup are, it could result in profit loss, it could result in you pricing your items incorrectly because you don't know how to price your items right. So make sure you listen really closely at this part. Let me turn my page, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I have my tripod holding my book open. So if my camera moves, I'm sorry. Okay, so margin. Your margin is the difference between your sales and your cost. So what that means is, let's do an example. Let's say you have a, a skirt. Yeah, I don't have a skirt. Let's do some shorts. So let's say you have this pair of shorts right here which can be bought at my boutique at jeansfashionique.com, plug. Okay, let's say you have these cute little fringe shorts right here. You are selling this to your customer for $30, okay? It costs you, wholesale price, it costs you $10 to get these. So your margin is your sales minus your cost. So that's $30 minus the 10 equals $20. A lot of people like to have their margin in percentage 
I am one of those people. I don't like having it in dollar amounts. It confuses me. So I like to have it in percentage. So the way to get that percentage is um, you could do, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The way to get your margin in percentage is to divide your margin by your sales. So the margin in this was $20. 20 divided by the $30 will give you a margin of 66.6%, .6%, so we'll round it up to a 67. Once again, I'm gonna repeat that just in case. Your margin would be your sales minus your cost. That equals your margin. If you want it in a percentage form, you need to divide your margin, which is the $20, by your sales, which is the 30. So 20 divided by 30 gives you the percentage. If you want to keep it in dollar form, it's just the $30 minus the 10. It sounds confusing, but I promise you it will make more sense when you write it down for your own items. Now, I personally, I shoot for a margin of like a minimum of 50%. 50% is my, I mean like bare minimum, but majority of the time I'm shooting for like the 60s. Um, I also think that it would be easier for you guys to, um, if this is... If you're more like me, I like to see things visually. I like to see them, I can understand it better. So make sure you click the link in my description box because I give you a more deeper account into margin, markup, and everything else that we're gonna talk about in this video in a guide to boutique terms, or boutique map terms, I apologize. So make sure you all click that link in the description box so that way if you are not understanding or you don't take good notes, click that link, grab that guide, it is for free until I change it. <laughs> okay, so in order for me to reach a minimum margin of 50%, it means that my markup needs to be at least 100%. So what is a markup? A lot of people get markup and margin confused. They are not the same thing. The markup is the markup amount, basically, of which you mark your items to from your wholesale price. So obviously, the markup amount which was the $20, we we'll gonna go back to the same example. So we're gonna say that markup amount was $20, obviously, because it was 10 when we got it. We marked it up to 30, which is 20. So that $20 divided by your cost, which is $10, gives you your markup. And like I said, if you want a deeper account or deeper explanation into this, be sure to grab that guide, because I didn't want this video to be too long, but if you get that guide, you'll be able to see everything that I was speaking about. Now, in order to reach a certain margin, you have to get a certain markup. And it's really complicated to say, it's easier to look at. So please grab that guide. <laughs> but just keep in mind, the margin is your sales and your costs subtracted from each other. Your markup is what you mark up your items to. So it is your um, margin, um, <laughs> I keep doing this. <laughs> Your margin divided by your cost. That's what we're gonna say. Sorry, I keep I keep saying it wrong. So as you can see, it is a lot in, that goes into margin and markup, which is easier done than saying. So click that link in the description box so you can get that guide. Okay, so moving on from margin and markup. After you figure out what your margins and your markups are, you of course will gain a profit. A profit is your total sales minus your expenses. There is no way you can't just go into your Shopify and say, oh my God, I made 420 bucks this month. No, you didn't. How much did it cost you to run your entire business that month? If you made $420 on your Shopify and it cost you, let's say, mm, let me do it in my calculator. So let's say it cost you, you it costs you maybe $125 to run your entire business for that month. You only made $295. You did not make $420. So once again, you need to know your expenses. If you don't know your expenses, you don't know your profit. Period. Excuse me. Okay, so some people also get ROI confused with profit. ROI means return on investment. Um, majority of the time, the only time you are you as a boutique owner are going to use ROI is if you are running ads on Instagram or Facebook or maybe if you're going to do events and you're going to be a vendor you have to pay a vendor fee then you can use ROI 
ROI means return on investment, which is your profit divided by your cost. So uh, let's say you run an ad and you spend a total of 50 bucks. So let's say you make, mm, let's say you make $245 from that ad divided by the 50 bucks. So you have a 4.9 or 5% ROI. So that's pretty good. Or you can just subtract it. If you want to, you can do your profits minus the cost um, that it costs you for that. And it will also give you an ROI as well. So you remember, your ROI is basically the return on your investment. The return on your investment from being a vendor and paying that $150 vendor fee or $50 vendor fee, or your return on your investment of X amount of money for the Instagram or Facebook ad. A great math term next that I actually love because I'm a numbers person and I love math as well. Um, this graph, no graph, I'm sorry. Ugh. A great math term that you need to know that measures your traffic's buying behavior, which I said before is my favorite math term, is knowing your conversion. When I managed my local Victoria's Secret, they made sure that we knew that conversion was queen. Conversion ran our business. And it basically showed us if we were doing what we needed to do in order to get the sales or reach our sales goals as individuals or as a store. Now, what is conversion? Your conversion is basically your traffic divided by your sales. You're going to get a certain percentage. And depending on you, you can determine what you want your conversion goals to be. For example, at Victoria's Secret, our conversion goal in my store was a minimum of 33%. I want to shoot for 33, period. And if we didn't reach that 33, everybody knew I was going to have a fit. I wanted a 33 because that meant that 3 out of 10 people or 3.5 <clears throat> out of 10 people were buying when they walked in the door. That was a minimum because we were in a smaller store. I actually wanted it to be higher. But if we were at a 40, I was I was great. Once we got below that 40, I was literally on everybody's ass. So this particular um, math term, it tells you a lot about your business. It tells you a lot about your advertising. It tells you a lot. And I go into deeper detail in that guide because I'm telling you, once you learn conversion and what it means and what it means for your business, you will see your abandoned cart rate reduce. You will see your sales increase, which means more profits and all of that fun stuff. So I highly suggest getting this guide because it is going to be for free until August 31st. After August 31st, I'm going to add it to my pricing and uh, branding bundle, and you'll be able to get that for one whole fee. So if you're watching this and it's after August 31st, 2019, you can still click this other link in my description box, and you can get that particular bundle for $10 off if you use the discount code YouTube price. I will have that in the description box. So I also want you all to know that I will be discussing Instagram due to a lot of um, requests <laughs> from this channel. Uh, I do talk a lot about Instagram on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on Instagram at Royal underscore Aries 55. But on next video, we will start discussing boutique me on Instagram. I will actually be going live next Monday where I will show you all my most popular webinar called Boutique on Instagram, of course, and it's about how to use Instagram to increase your sales. It will be for free, obviously. I will leave it up for a lifetime. Everyone loves that webinar. They have told me they've learned a lot from it. So I decided to just put it on YouTube so that way everyone can see it. So if you do not want to miss this, be sure to click that notification bell so you will know. So those are the math terms you need to know. Click that guide in the description box. I'm sorry, click the link in the description box. If it's after August 31st, use the discount code YouTube price. So you, as a YouTube subscriber, can get it for $10 off. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your support and tune in for the next video where we start talking about Instagram for boutiques. Bye.